G'day guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Down the Tracky. Um, basically a new job here around the city, somewhere north side and uh, they just called us on the radio, I was on standby pack here yeah, because too many trucks were blocking the road and uh, off we go, so let's see um, yeah, if they're ready to load us, it looks like they're ready uh, otherwise we'll just turn around again and go around the block and park here on standby but for what I understood on the radio, it wasn't really clear, but they are ready, so rock and roll. Someone drove the truck on weekend and uh, they did an asphalt job and um, one mud flap is missing, probably reversing in the paver at the back, they didn't be careful, they didn't uh, raise the mud flaps with the hooks that uh, I made and um, lost the mud flap and also the charger is missing so I can't recharge the GoPro so I have to stop in a pedal station and also I can't recharge the the phone because today I'm gonna use it a lot to navigate and so my boss I told my boss about it and he said just go to a pedal station buy a new charger and then send me the invoice so no worries we'll do that Uh, two trucks inbound from uh, Gaton Road, just uh, behind the block. Tight maneuver here. Charger, maybe later when I come back from the tip side. Just finished. Oh, I know him, very nice guy. Got his hair green, that's so cool. I will have to confirm the tip side with these boys. That's a lot of dust, gonna close the windows. locks and interaxle lock engage I'm completely skidding on the empty weight on the axle and uh, on the rocks there's no tractions whatsoever Right guys, I'm gonna confirm the tip side with these guys and let's see, rock and roll. Turn off this stuff here.
G'day mate. How are you? Hi. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Be hectic. Yeah, this morning, yeah. So yeah. I want to say uh just to confirm the tip site. Yeah. It's I a think it's Karina or something. Yeah, Ferdinand's Road Karina. Yeah, that'll yeah. be it. Alright. And then I guess I'll find there's not really a dress but RDS Civil. Must be another construction site. Yeah, it must be, yeah. Yeah, all just right. Just call the boys, they're all on 25. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, when you go out, yeah, there's a big gap because of the light, so it's three lights, not four. So you get a nice big 30 second gap to get out. Oh cool. Go to the right lane. Yeah, yeah. Up that street, second yeah. street to the right, not yeah. the first because yeah. it's too narrow. Yeah. And brings out the servo and you're on the way back. Okay, brings because you out right there. Yeah. Because we have to go that way, eh? Yeah. Alright, cool. Thanks mate, appreciate it. Yeah, the best the, the way the boys are going, I think. Yeah. They follow that in, yeah. Calvin Grove Road. Yeah. Turn left at the New Market Hotel. Go past the hospital over the story bridge and you're on your way. Right, thanks. Thanks mate, appreciate it. Do you reckon it's going to be a busy day? Uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> anyway. Right on, guys. Hopefully, the battery will last. The GoPro camera battery will last uh, until the tip side. Otherwise, I'm going to recharge by the cable and. Um, well, just uh... head southeast on Sanford Road, State Route 22, towards Burdekin Street. Yeah, I have to make a right turn, like you said, then second, then left. Yeah, 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 yeah. beautiful. So we start loading at 7:45. Starting to get out to a better put some AC here. Oh yeah, full. You're loading very fast. Dress is set and off we go. I'm trying to keep the brightness to the lowest possible to save battery. Right on guys, rock and roll. Beacon on just to get out of here. Full blast AC to pull off. Oh we are heavy, oh yeah. Really loaders full on.
There's a 7-Eleven, that's where I will come later to buy the charger, which is good. I'm just gonna try to keep going, guys, with this. Uh, with these, uh, because the GoPro is still working, still going, there's no point to buy the charger now. Hopefully it will last. Very tough to get out of here, wow. Next time I'm gonna make a left turn. Traffic is a disaster. Just spend 10 15 minutes to get out of here. It's insane. And the place is no it's not close at all for the tip side. which line is the best but in the city you will never win especially the big time traffic Channel 25 today. Luckily it's not rain, it's not mud because the the um, the rear or the back right side mud flap is missing and it's uh, the one right underneath the the bumper where all the lights are fitted and uh, there are already some wires exposed so the last thing I want is the uh, rain and mud going into the wires and um, it'll stop working then yeah we can I could have you know I usually don't drive but I had to get Friday off as well because uh, my love, she has, uh, she just got eye surgery to correct their eyes, 
and uh, I thought recovery was going to be a be faster. The doctor said, oh, probably, you know, be able to open the eyes uh, the second day, but yeah, no, very painful. So, in fact, they give her a lot of a case with all a lot of painkillers and drops. I have to give her five different drops, four times a day, five minutes apart from each uh, different drop so it's like every time I spend half an hour four times a day so it's like two hours just to medicate her and I have to do everything so I have to do everything in the house I didn't mind at all but it's it's full on and taking care of my love so no more glasses for her and <laughs> uh, yeah so I have to do the cooking cleaning Medicare, give her a feeder. <laughs> Meantime, I was watching movies, making my videos. So probably you guys noticed a lot of uh, new videos coming out. I had three days to uh, edit and produce videos. I don't edit much. I like raw, raw videos the way they are, transparent, with uh, showing everything but indeed lots of videos I think I managed to make like seven videos something like that including the compilation from my, from my previous job from the front lift uh, eight-wheeler waste truck so I really hope you guys enjoy so anyway yeah I wasn't working and um, so the boss called someone else to drive the truck and I told him, just explain in the toolbox, there is a, not only the diesel to be sprayed before pouring the asphalt, so the asphalt does not stick to the tailgate, but also uh, the hooks that I made, if you guys remember probably one my first asphalt job I show you, the Doug actually, a driver that always does, that works for the asphalt company, was very kind and professional, he showed me how to uh, basically perform the asphalt job in the proper way, don't damage the track, how to reverse and move uh, together with a, with a machine that paves, that pour the asphalt, and I prepare, I make these hooks just out of two metal wires and I I made two holes in each mat flap and when I'm doing the asphalt I just connect these uh, hooks and I lift the mat flaps attached to attaching to the to the rear uh, bumpers so when I reverse into the paver into the machine the mat flaps don't uh, get torn apart because they get stuck between the paver, the rollers that is pushing the truck and the back tire. And I told, just explain the drivers, you know, but maybe he explained it to them because he cares about the truck, but the drivers don't care because a lot of people, when they drive vehicles that they're not their own, they just don't, they just don't pay much attention. They don't care, especially if it's only a couple of days like that and then probably they will never drive again so it's a shame just small details but some can be quite critical like for example how to engage the differential locks and especially the interaxle lock they shouldn't be engaged on dry pavement so only off-road when it's really slippery like loose gravels and the back tires are spinning and also shouldn't drive above uh, 8 kilometers an hour otherwise uh, can damage the transmission and the internal components and then have broken seals and having uh, transmission fluid leaking the axle fluid as well so yeah Lots of things to uh, keep in mind.
try not to touch the brakes and yeah now I have to brake very heavy so I'm trying to use full exhaust brakes and downshift as soon as I can overriding the automatic transmission it's the first time I do this road so I don't know what to expect next time probably I will uh, be able to uh, plan more ahead in terms of uh, down slopes and engage the exhaust brakes and downshift much earlier I'm quite pedantic I mean it's not really necessary in this road however I'm always trying to do my best to save brakes and uh, keep the truck moving and avoid coming to a complete stop in order to um, have the best fuel efficiency and also minimizing wear and tear brakes wear and tear as well luckily for us school holidays Christmas school holidays Saturday is Christmas today is Monday next Saturday is uh, Christmas beautiful so fast Wow well, time flies really Careful, I'm showing this road there are a lot of speed cameras. It's a good thing a lot of gas stations as well. <laughs> right now in Australia there is a massive shortage of Ad Blue. The additive that we use in uh, OTEF, which is diesel exhaust fuel the additive we use for uh, minimizing emissions on diesel engines massive shortage because the primary component urea a chemical fertilizers so you put that and mix with ionized water one and a half is uh, urea this chemical used even also for farmers and then the other half uh, you use uh, ionized water and China banned the urea export because uh, they're running short. So it estimating the government said that we have four to five weeks of urea or at blue left. And you can see the price of the pump is uh, like when six times higher and it's a big mess already. A lot of companies are struggling. Trucks are not moving. Some trucks coming to a complete stop already and it's insane. As you guys are well aware, without trucks, Australia stops, and it's true. Pretty much everything is delivered with trucks. Not only the soil I'm carrying, all the asphalt for the roads, but medicines, goods, Amazons, you name it. Pretty much everything you find in the supermarket. Waste, rubbish. So yeah, it's a big, big, huge problem. Luckily, people still have a lot of respect for truckers and they really empathize with truckers. And actually, they're pressing the government to, uh, to be very proactive about this. And perhaps consider as well a different uh, approach after this happened and don't rely so heavily on other countries to produce stuff for us perhaps this is a sign that we should bring back factories in Australia and make our people work here produce cars manufacture trucks chemicals you name it whatever electronic components even because pretty much all the resources are here we are full of mines lithium you name it a lot of components for electronics they all come from here come on guys I have to jump on the left line indeed a 
a lot of traffic. pretty much in the city center here so we're going to go along the river and then we'll see so we are about no not very far 10 kilometers away So we see with this ad blue, the ad blue you can see the it was full last week. I refueled the truck and and put full ad blue because it was half tank. I think it only the tank is very small, it's probably just over 50 liters. And I had only two dots, two square remaining out of four. Now you can see I have three square remaining out of four. And what, what I'm gonna do later if I because not many uh Petrol stations have ad blue, usually only truck stops, and around the cities you don't have truck stops. So, although it's becoming more and more common because all modern vehicles, diesel vehicles, will have ad blue. Pretty much, even for cars. And, um, yeah, if I find a better station later on with that blue, I'm gonna refuel because we don't know with the shortage. Last thing we want is the truck to be parked and stopped because literally it does not work. And you can really damage the engine according to the manual. And also, if you run out of that blue, for example, right now we run out of that blue. Um, my understanding is the truck, some trucks come to a complete stop, some other trucks, I'm not sure this one, they only work at 30%, so just crawling basically to get to the next pedal station or to uh, safely park the truck in a safe area, to, uh, don't block for example the whole traffic or create an accident.
the stadium right in the city beautiful Brisbane city Queensland down down the so no red light cameras and beautiful also could be a red light with speed camera as well so you gotta really be careful hello again guys <laughs> basically passing the stadium again and uh, you probably remember the the camera just uh, cut off ran out of battery and I had to stop at the petrol station to buy a new charger which is here uh, because the driver on the weekend I guess by mistake uh, took it at home or who knows maybe forgot it somewhere that's that's weird though because you're supposed to stay in the truck so I didn't have a chance to um, recharge the GoPro camera now all fixed uh, company is fine uh, I just sent the invoice just 20 bucks and what I did, I recharged the camera and I just turned it on at this point where uh, it previously uh, quit and turned off so you guys don't miss anything so if you remember we were, I was saying, oh look at that, at the stadium right in the city and then the camera quit about at this point here I think I remember on this traffic light so here we are all of the sun and it's got dirty it's like I don't know I'm gonna try to wash it with some uh, uh, windshield fluid in a moment it's really strange I don't understand if it's uh, a bit of mud or maybe worst oil or something I don't know I don't know where I got it This road that I'm doing today very bad, full of potholes, lots of traffic, stop and go. That's crazy. Just crossing the city each time basically. the windshield fluid the washer here it comes I'm oh, still working excellent continue straight onto Stanley Street East then use the left two lanes to turn slightly left onto Tiber Street beautiful look at that oh excellent escape from the traffic today ah well one of those days
time today I see the engine almost reaching uh, 90 degrees Celsius on these uh, crazy uphills in the city not much this one but I can see it climbing it now yeah. very hot 32 33 degrees Celsius fully loaded
channel 21 for the deep side, for the dam side. Uh, it's all there here, there is a line of cars um, getting tested for the COVID. And since they reopen and uh, reopen the borders in Queensland, we started having a few cases of the new variant, the Omicron, Omicron like as well. And uh, we have to wear the masks again. really badly can't even control the steering unbelievable This one? Yeah, right, right over here, we're gonna head down out. We're in front of the blaze, we'll have to do a U turn then. Roger that. Let's see if I can make a U turn because it's hard here. So the one I get stuck. A good job. Are you uh, bringing this material out of the same side as everybody else? Yeah, that'll be about there. Yeah, you're coming out of uh, Sanford Road over Gaythorn. Uh, hang on, mate. Um, I just got in, I turned right to get in, in here. And now to get out, I'm gonna turn left. Can you get past that?
quarter time. What happened before, the rear, the left rear forward axle wheel kept spinning even with the brake pedal fully depressed. And I have a feeling or suspicion that that wheel brake might have failed. So we'll have to tell the mechanic to check. It's the first time, so fully depressed the brake and the wheel on the left rear forward axle kept spinning. Not good. going out yeah this grid here is uh, phenomenal the shaking the whole thing rolling guys until uh, back on the side where we get loaded then I'm gonna turn it off and um, I will probably roll on again later on once we complete this job and we're going to uh, another job we're just gonna get a load of uh, garden soil and uh, we'll have to get the address. They're gonna send me. The company's gonna send me the address where to um, deliver. Meters, the load. Left onto Creek Road, uh, we'll see. 20. Hopefully, there will be enough space on the SD card. Guys on our site as well. In 200 meters, turn right onto Stanley Road. Turn right onto Stanley Road. for the construction site so we're using 25 today where we get loaded and 21 where we offload
fuel consumption in this uh, condition is uh, extreme the worst possible fuel consumption it's a stop and go heavy load um, lots of uh, uphills the city, Brisbane city. Beautiful view.
<coughs> hey, excuse me. I'm allergic to the city traffic. Ah, yeah. traffic here, no matter what. The white rides, wow.
this green light probably lasts 10 seconds. Wow. Yeah, it does. Thanks God on each side. Fair.
on these routes. It's crazy. Almost lose control of the truck, can't keep the steering wheel. Far out. And of course another red light. inbound never understand anything what the loader says really bad radio I guess red bad mic yeah. usually there's enough space here we are Hope you enjoy this ride. Pretty long. Turn around more than one hour basically, one hour and a half. So I'm gonna recharge the camera and then uh, try to roll again um, once uh, I get the new job later on. Take it easy, guys.